Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Sano and Emily, and we are outside resting from packing up the classroom. We are exhausted. So we asked one of our friends to help us with today's reading workshop lesson. Take it away, Petunia. Thanks, Mrs. Sano. My name is Petunia, and I am a purple striped jellyfish. Scientists gave me that name because of the beautiful purple stripes on my body. You can find me out in the deep waters of the Pacific Ocean. But I also like to float near the coast of California. Today we're going to work on comprehension. I have a great story about friendship. Listen carefully because after the story, I'm going to ask you some questions. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish Written and illustrated by Jared J. Kroska Peanut Butter and Jellyfish Peanut Butter and Jellyfish were the best of friends. Best friends who spent their days exploring. Up, down, around, and through their grand ocean home. Unluckily for them, though, they live near Krabby. You guys swim like humans, he would taunt as they slipped past. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something? asked Jellyfish. No, must be the current said Peanut Butter. Krabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. Pee-you. My grandma called. She wants her run walk shoes back. I've seen sea snails swim with more style. What a bunch of bubbleheads. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwoods and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate. You don't even have any bones, huffed Krabby as he marched along his favorite walk by himself. One day, as peanut butter and jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam by Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults, but all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. It was Krabby. He was caught in a lobster trap and it was being lifted to the surface. I'm scared, he cried. Surely, he was doomed. Should we help? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right, we have to help, exclaimed Jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate, but Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but, but I can't swim, confessed Krabby, and I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fisherman above. Just when all hope was lost, the knot gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. 
th thanks you too, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was brave enough to apologize. I guess I was just jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the ocean waters. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, said Jellyfish. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish still swam up and down, around and through, but it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. The end. I hope you were listening closely to the story, boys and girls. Remember, you can pause the video and go back to the story to find the answers. After each question, I'll give you a little thinking time. Ready? The first question is an easy one. What were the names of the characters in the story? Did you answer Peanut Butter, Jellyfish, and Krabby? If you did, great job! It's all good! Alright, here's the next question. What is the setting of the story? Remember... The setting is where the story takes place. Did you answer the ocean? If you did, you are on a roll. Awesome job, boys and girls. Wow, boys and girls, you are doing an amazing job. The next question is a little tricky, but I know you can answer it. What do you think the problem was in the story? Remember, you can always go back and check. <laughs> There were a couple of different problems in this story. The first one I thought of was that Krabby kept making fun of poor peanut butter and jellyfish. Is that what you thought? Awesome if you did. Were there any other problems that you thought of? If you did, great job too. Remember, boys and girls, sometimes questions have more than one answer. Remember, always just try your best. Outstanding job if you thought of something else. Outstanding work, boys and girls. You are really thinking. So, now that you thought about what the problem in the story is, how did they solve it? I think even though Krabby was mean to poor peanut butter and jellyfish, they still helped him when he got trapped in that lobster cage. After that, Krabby was finally brave enough to tell them why he made fun of them. They were then able to work out the problem so that all three friends could explore in the ocean together. And that made everyone happy. What did you think? Remember, it's okay if your answer is different from mine. I'm sure you all had super ideas. Yay! 
Last question. Like many comprehension questions, this one is asking your opinion. You get to decide how to answer it. Remember what you learned from Roger's workshop about opinion writing to help you. Are you ready? Here's the question. What would you do if you were crabby? How would you have tried to get peanut butter and jellyfish to play with you? So, since the answer to this question is your opinion, instead of giving you my answer, I'm going to let you tell me what you think. Write your opinion just like you do for Writer's Workshop. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Oh, but before you go, I think Petunia has one more thing to tell you. That's right, Mrs. Sano. Thanks. So, boys and girls, I made you three different non-fiction stories to read all about jellyfish. I want you to pick the one that is just right for you. Then, practice reading it. When you're done, go back and read it again. I also added some reading comprehension questions for you to answer after you've read the story at least two times. Have fun! Look for me floating in the Pacific Ocean. But don't touch! I don't want to sting you. Bye! Thanks, Petunia, for your help today. I think Emily and I are rested enough to get back to work. So remember, boys and girls, when you're reading to yourself or with a partner, think about the story and make sure you understand what it's all about. Great job today. We'll see you soon. Bye. Keep reading, boys and girls. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.